Hi everybody, my name is Tim Heidecker and welcome to another episode of Tim's Kitchen Tips. Now, uh, this is our second episode and our first episode last week had a ton of negative reaction on the web, a lot of uh, negative comments and downvotes. But you know what? This is, uh, you guys don't win. You might uh, think you are being heard, your voice is being heard, but nobody cares. And uh, I'm having so much fun making this show and I'm also getting a lot of positivity from friends and family who think what I'm doing is awesome. So my message to the haters out there is no one cares, no one's listening. All right, well let's get into it here. We've got my classic French onion dip. And uh, this is so easy to make, you just need a couple of items. Some of these items you probably have in your pantry or in your spice rack. Get some, um, some minced, uh, what are these called, onion chives? Chives. And onion powder and uh, minced onion and sour cream. And that's really gonna be your, it's a cream-based dip. So, what we first do is I like to start by mixing in my sour cream. Make sure you get all of it in there. Okay, and we'll take some of these, this minced onion in here. Just a good heaping handful. That's really gonna be a lot of the flavor. And just throw everything in, mix in the, the chives, and then a good, uh, oh, two or three big pinches of your onion powder. And of course, uh, Pittsman's mustard is, uh, what I like to add is a little secret ingredient. Uh, you're not gonna find this in any of the store brand. I actually put a little extra, not just to, sometimes I'll put, for the Russian dressing, I put just a little touch, but it really is, makes it a special uh, dip if you add more than you're used to. And we'll just mix this all together. And it, it will get messy because you're gonna wanna uh, really, um, and I got some on me here. Um, okay. And uh, it comes right off, it's just mustard. All right. Let me do a little sample test. Make sure we get all of that back in. And uh, let's try it with a carrot. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. We'll be right back for the world premiere of my French dip. All right, well we're just about cleaned up here, except for me, I've done the best I could, but uh, I feel, almost feel like a modern art painter. Uh, but anyways, uh, can't wait to show off my French onion dip with my guest. I'm going to bring him out here. He's a friend of mine, Eric Wareheim. Sorry about, look at this mess. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how's it going? Um, it's fine, you know. You were telling me something about the water pressure in your house or something. I always thought that was interesting. It's more about the roots. One part of the sewer line to the street is not... It's not the new plastic kind, so there's roots getting in there and that's blocking everything up. And that's why I called Caroline this morning and said, is there any chance we could do this tomorrow or even in the afternoon? Because I got, I have sewer water going into my house right now. And who knows where the cats are? Mm. Well, uh, you gotta get your place ready for, for Super Bowl Sunday, whenever that's coming up, because uh, you're gonna want some of this French onion dip uh, at the, at table side. So go ahead and try this. This is just kind of your classic French onion dip with a little twist. So to give it Let's a take care. I, I tried it with carrot. I thought it was really good. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's fine. It just tastes like um, sour cream and mustard. If you're wondering, there's a little uh, Pissman's mustard in there, which really brings out the onion. I don't really have a palate for the taste of mustard or anything spicy, so it's um, it's a little bit of a turnoff, you know. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you do like the show, support it and, f and pass it around. I think 
It would be great to get support uh, and uh, positive comments and likes. Just in the future, if there's anything. In the future, when I call you and say that I do have an emergency, it's like I'm not fucking around. I have some real shit I gotta deal with, so. But these guys are all here, you can't just get this. Yeah, but there's fucking water in my house. Well, I don't know what to tell you. And it's not, it's not fresh water, it's sewer water. Have, and I got two cats, so I gotta deal with that. Fuck! Ah! And we get our stir going here. And this, because of the tomatoes, you don't want to break up the tomato solids. You definitely want to keep this chunky, almost like a salsa. 